Well, hi guys, well, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been a heck of a couple of weeks. It's been really fragmented. There's been little jobs here and there, and I've been going off getting bits and pieces, and the weather's been a bit crazy. So uh, let's have a look and see how I get on. Right, so we've broken into the outbound box and it's like Christmas morning. Lots of gorgeous things here. Just taking the habitation door out. And then we've got the cut through into the cab. We've then got two big garage doors. We've got the roof light for the bedroom. We've, and then we've got five windows. And then all the blinds to go along with that as well. So yeah, really sort of happy with that. And it is, I must say, look at that, it's beautifully packaged. Okay, the habitation door is getting just behind me. I think I mentioned it in the last video. I've obviously dug into the box. I've got the door just here and there's like a dog leg uh, in the frame. Um, you're, I'm aware of that. I've watched the outbound video. It's pretty straightforward, but it's absolutely paramount that all that measuring is absolutely bang on because I'm only going to get one go at this. I've got a little diagram here down here, which I'm going to show you. So this effectively just here is the, the wall, the external wall of the box and then what you have you have this little dog leg here okay obviously out of the side you get the door there right and so what's going to happen is you've got to cut out this this section here and then this has got to be rotted out and obviously it's going to be pretty tidy right after much measuring there is our door Honestly, you wouldn't believe how long I've spent on this. It's ridiculous. But I just want to try and get it right. And there's a subfloor going in here as well of 45 mil uh, to allow for on the floor heating and uh, a little bit of cable work and obviously some drainage. But yeah, it's taken a while. So a little job before doing anything else this morning is to cut the trim out of the back of the cab uh, because the guys are going to cut this out this morning this window is going to come out and then there's a 600 by 800 hole effectively going to be cut out in the back of the cab with a little return for the bellow on the other side so let's get going <laughs> Okay, windows out, really, really easy. Got my little multi-tool just in here. Took away 10 minutes. Um, clearly, so windows are glued in these days and that just popped out. The fabric is cut and then it's just a case of a big sheet of aluminium going on the back there with a the hole cut out, 600 by 800 or just over that actually, about 620 by 820. Um, and then there's about a 30 mil return on that as well. All right, just to create that sort of opening space. We'll replicate that for the other side in terms of the box uh, but clearly the box has the door and that's all sealed and uh, it'll just be a case of that rubber uh, bellow in between them fixed at one side so it doesn't get ripped off and uh, that's the plan right it's definitely no going back now Okay, so the weather is stopping play right now. I had to put a tarp over this uh, because the weather is just coming this way. We've got a bit more rain forecast uh, later on today and this evening. So, uh, God, it's frustrating, I must say. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me over the wind. But this is our 30 litre LPG tank that we'll use for cooking only. It's going to be under slung in terms of under the chassis, tucked away because clearly we're not going to use it. Uh, well, we're going to use it, but we're, we're not going to need it, need to access it. Uh, the brackets have been made for it, it's just gone off to the galvanizers and when it comes to reassembling everything in terms of the subframe step platform this will go back on as well and obviously we'll connect this up at a later date. Right, we're going to put it back in the workshop because the rain is coming in and we're trying to get some work done on it. Right, there's never a dumb one with these things. I've had to re-measure the aperture for the cutout for the door, and that's because the extrusion on the outside is interfering with the frame. 
obviously the frame is bigger on the outside than what it is on the inside and that's causing a problem. The downside is I'm going to lose my subfloor uh, because obviously I had to lower the door uh, by about 50 mil so my subfloor is going to be gone, everything else is going to be laid within the floor so doable, very achievable but it's not exactly how I want to do it but it is what it is so uh, yeah a little bit frustrating but um, because you, you look on the inside you're probably looking thinking you've got all this space but actually I haven't done the outside because of the extrusion so um, yeah let's crack on get it done well yeah rain is on yet again uh, it's really sort of humbling play to be honest with you and um, delaying progress I'm reluctant to cut any doors and windows um, for obvious reasons and the best I can do really is sort of mark everything out cut inside as best I can so again sort of cut 90% and then when I'm ready and we've got some good weather do that final cut get it out hopefully get them back in without any issue okay so once the weather's sorting itself out I'm going to use today to mark everything up that means the windows and obviously this back panel and the back panel is pretty key once the door's in then i want to get this in to try and get the whole thing weather tight i'm going to basically recess the panel which is 64 millimeters thick into the whole sort of back of the panel but i'll make a 50 mil cut into the wall of the box itself and the ceiling and the floor and then that'll just push in in theory that'll push in obviously once i've cut it to size uh, it'll obviously be glued in and then the extrusions can go on top of that as well and that effectively is it sort of done but I do need some decent weather to actually do that final bit of work okay so just a bit more marking up hopefully this looks been a bit better okay so once this is out so you, clearly you've got 50 mil 64 mil the thickness of the panel this will come out obviously 90 degree cuts on here and here and then I'm left with this little dog leg and the panel will just slot in here and obviously be bonded in. Okay, so as part of cutting the door out, I've got to remove this aluminium trim at the bottom and it's really thick. And although I've got my saw here with a, a really good blade on it, it doesn't get into the corners. So at some point, I'm just gonna to have to get a grinder with the cutting disc and just basically sort of cut that as best I can. Uh, but I think until I start cutting it, I won't know exactly how that goes, so there it goes. Okay, forget this measure twice, cut once business. I've measured this about 17 times because clearly I've got to get it right. And I'm obviously taking my measurements off the door itself, uh, not the fitting instructions. Um, there's a slight, slight variation, it is tiny. Um, but uh, yeah, almost there. Let's do some more. Once it's dry, I take the opportunity to prep this air tank for painting, which will form part of our tyre inflation system. Okay, I'm just waiting to nip off and get the fuel tank. It's ready. Maximise my time whilst it's raining. I collect a fuel tank for Victor in the paint shop and set it on a couple of trestles and you can see immediately the difference in size between 200 and 600 litres. Whilst the rain continues outside, I mark out the window apertures and drill the corner holes in the lounge followed by the kitchen, shower and bedroom. Well, that's typical. Half past three on a Friday afternoon. It stopped raining. We've even got a bit of blue sky. The sun is shining, trying to. Uh, but we'll obviously have to pick us up next week. And I think the weather is promising. <laughs> no, we're not having that. <laughs> Are you sure?
No. Right, this is us out on a Saturday morning looking at materials, kitchen, flooring, shower. Yeah, nice. This is the best bit. This is the bit I'm not allowed to do usually. But I'll say, I'm still in the foundations and you're looking at paint colours. Right, it's Monday morning. We've got a blue sky, the sun is shining. There's no excuses, but I've only got four days this week. So let's get these windows in. So I've got my doorway here and I've actually cut through 90% on the other side, but because of the weather last week, I obviously held off. So here goes, this is actually a cut that I today. Okay, so the door is pretty much cut out. It's coming out in two parts actually. It's coming out the top bit, the bigger bit's coming out first. And then I've done another little cut here, just above the aluminium. Uh, it just makes it a bit, a bit easier to get out and um, work out this sort of bottom bit. So, right, let's get this out. So this is a nice part of all this. When you get the old wrap, all this lovely shiny stuff. I've had it wrapped up really because there's been so much dust and crap and today's the day. So I'm just gonna take off the uh, integral fly screen. I say integral, it does actually bolt off. So we'll get the door in and then obviously that goes on afterwards. So I'll get that off, uh, wrap that back up again and stow that somewhere. And then get this door out. Okay, so I'm just gonna set my saw up. 40 mil because that's the depth of the little dog leg that I've got to cut, got to cut out. It's actually 40 mil by uh, 30 mil on the inside. So uh, I'll cut that section out and then hopefully the door should pretty much sort of slot into place. And then all I've got to do is this little bit of extrusion at the bottom down here, all right, it's going to need a little bit of cutting out just to just so the frame can actually recess flush against the GRP wall. So uh, that's next up. Okay, one more truth. Will it fit? Well, the short answer is no, but it's bloody close. There's a little bit in the corner, top right, a little bit top left, uh, sorry, bottom left, and uh, that's okay because I want it pretty snug. So, a couple of mil, and we'll retry. <laughs> Guys, good morning. Well, I didn't get the door in yesterday in the end. It is ready to go in, uh, but we ran out of time really. And basically what, what happened was, it's got to be, the door's got to be open. It's got to be obviously bonded and clamped up. And we were in for some real wind and, and rain last night, which we did have. The wind's still here. In fact, the wind's here for two days. So this is going to have to wait. Uh, we've got 45 mile an hour winds. And so I think today's, work really is to work on the other side of the box where I'm going to try and get the apertures out uh, for the windows uh, so I can get everything sort of bonded in one go uh, when this wind eventually comes down. Okay next little job is to infill the panel at the front and I'm going to use a piece of the excess what's effectively going to be chopped off the back of the box. It's the same panel thickness as the front. It's basically it's the same material and it'll be bonded in and then fiberglassed on the outside and inside, sanded and hopefully I can make it good. Okay, so another little job done. I've been working on this this morning 
and uh, it's far from finished it still needs a little bit shaved off it and it obviously has to get bonded in it's got to get fiberglass both sides clearly the whole thing needs sort of cleaned up as well and then obviously sanded painted uh, and so on so but it's a good start okay so we're just trying to figure out the brackets for the fuel tank so i bought the fuel tank used but no brackets and uh obviously you know it is so heavy so rather than fabricate the brackets we thought it might be cheaper and easier to try and source some so i think i've got some coming it has taken a couple of days and a lot of ringing around but uh and I, they don't come with the straps so we will have to make the straps so fingers crossed they're good so last week the guys fabricated the bracket for the LPG tank. We put that straight into the galvanizers. Uh, we've got that back and we've just got that fitted again this morning. So that's looking really well. So lots of stuff happening in the background. This is all back to the galvanizers as well. And the guys have just assembled that this morning whilst they've been in the box. Uh, and I think it's looking brilliant actually. I can't wait to see it all come together and uh, put it out for the first time. Okay, so I'm going to crack on with the windows. I've done all the professional cuts, uh, it's just four holes, cut on the inside, final cut on the outside, and I'm starting on this side because the wind is blowing a gale on my other side, so uh, let's get out and do this. Okay, first window is nearly in. It's just catching on the inside. Uh, it's, I mean, we're talking at millimeters, so I'm just gonna go inside, take a side, go inside, shave a little bit off, and this one's good. Right, Izzy, what are we doing? Trying to find a water tank to fit a very bespoke space. So I've got my little notepad here. There we go. And that is what we're looking for. And there aren't any. So we're going to make a phone call in the morning and see if we can get one made. Well, morning guys. Well, we've woken up to a gorgeous morning. I think it's going to change lunchtime today. Wind and rain. But for now, we'll take this because today I'm going to get the door in, no matter what. Okay, so I've just wet the plastic off and done a dry fit. And the brackets on the side of the hinge are just impinging ever so slightly. So I'm just going to very quickly run the saw up the side of the, uh, the the cut on the box and take about three mil off. That's all we're talking about. And uh, we're good to go. Well, we managed to get a set of fuel tank brackets, which I'm really happy with. 100 quid in the end. So we're just going to bolster them actually, uh, because I want the tank to sit 75 mil lower than it ordinarily would, uh, just to make sure the body doesn't impinge onto the tank. We'll get some new straps made and that's it, we're good to go. Okay, we have bigger springs. Uh, so the rod's been done for those as well, which is great. So we have a little bit more travel, uh, which gives me a little bit of peace of mind. So uh, all we have to do now is get it all assembled. <clears throat> okay, so the door is just about to go in. Uh, all the prep is done. So I've just basically given the surround a little bit of a rub with some sandpaper uh, I cleaned it off with some prep tone cleaned the frame and it's just by the way but the wind is up hence the reason I'm stood in here and I'm going to actually keep the door closed so what I'm going to do is get a strap with a couple of bits of wood obviously put the door in uh, bond it up put the strap around it and then sort of pull it tight work it into place and make sure it's right and then just leave it there to cure Okay, we have a door in. It's blowing a gale out there, uh, but it's in. Uh, we've got some straps around it, uh, just until it cures. So tomorrow morning we'll get those off and it'll be good to go. Exciting. Well, we've got a bit of sun this morning, which is lovely. And I'm just taking out the packers and the bit of tape that was around the door. And it's this sort of stuff that just eats into your day. You know, it's sort of 30 minutes doing this. And uh, suddenly it just sort of detracts from what you're trying to achieve. but. And it happens, seems to happen every day. So uh, you just seem to lose time doing these little tasks and nipping away to sort of pick up, you know, bits and fuel tanks and, you know, go, go to the paint shop. And before you know it, your time actually spent on the truck is a lot less than you'd like.
Okay, that's all the packers out, inside and out. Is it going to open? Okay, just had a call from Victor. He's the painter, Hungarian guy. He's really, really handy. He's done all the small stuff, all the brackets. And he did me a big favor yesterday, actually. I dropped off the fuel tank brackets and I needed them back today. And he said, oh, okay, okay, I'll do them. So he just called me. They're done, ready for collection. So I'm gonna nip away and get them. And uh, we'll get, obviously get them fitted back on the truck and get the truck running again. Okay, so all collected. And you can just see here we've been extended. And then there's an additional bracket here as well, all painted up and ready to go. So if you're in the middle of a build or you're thinking about an overland project and you're wondering about windows, check out these guys, outbound windows in the Netherlands. We had these windows and doors in our last little truck and they were superb. They were actually 10 years old and we did these crazy washboard rows off-road. They took all sorts of abuse and they never failed. They were perfect all the way through. And that's really the biggest driver from going back to outbound windows. We like how they look, we like how they perform and actually they're pretty reasonably priced. We're not being sponsored or there's no discount uh, from outbound. We just like the product and uh, Everyone that we've come across that you know have these in the truck say the same thing. So check them out. After the straight cut, I cut the same dog leg recess as before, prep and clean the surfaces, apply the adhesive, fit the window and clean up the access. And I'm really pleased with the end result. Just another three windows, one roof light, one cut through door, two garage doors and an access panel to go. Right, well, we're definitely not at the yard. Where are we? Think? We're on the plane, we're going on holiday. We are, we're going somewhere very exotic. We're going back home to Northern Ireland to see my side of the family. And after five and a half years full time travel, we said it's time to regroup the friends and family. Yeah. So that's exactly what we're doing, and we're looking forward to it. We are. Um, I've got so many truck things in my mind right now, I'm just like build 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 so uh, yeah it's quite hard to switch off it'll but do us good it will so uh and once again, anyway passengers you have just joined us let's go chill welcome aboard to east jeff flight shortly departing to belfast international okay that's all the packers out inside and out is it going to open not until i've unlocked it on the inside what muppet